7200, 7200, 7120, 7125, 6400, 5300, 5200, 4260, 4250, 4160, 4160, and 3635. First thing you're going to do is want to go to the web interface uh, of the machine uh, from the IP address that you configured from the machine. We're going to choose properties. Type in admin. And our password for default is 1111. Then we're going to go to security, on demand image overwrite, schedule. By default, it is disabled. Uh, normally, I choose monthly as well as a standard. Uh, uh, if your client is a little more on the security side, you're going to want to change that to weekly. I'm going to go to general setup. Oh, actually, connectivity protocols, IP, or TCP IP, depending on. Um, make sure it's static. Set your host name. I set it to xrx underscore 7775. Set your domain. This one is southern.local. Um, the dot local is added to any domain that doesn't have a suffix. So, um, you know, ABC123 company, might use ABC123, then you add dot .local to it. As well as we set our IP address here, uh, make sure your subnet mask and your gateway IP addresses are correct, uh, as well as your primary DNS server, as well as your alternative DNS servers. And choose apply. Um, to configure scan the email, choose SMTP. Um, you can either type in your IP address, this happens to be an internal uh, exchange server, so I can just go right to the IP address, or your host name. Here you'll put in smtp dot, uh, what have you, dot com. Uh, then you also have your port. Port 25 used to be the um, normal standard. Um, we're getting to the point where everything is 587 now for secure email. We also want to give our device an email address. Here we can change our maximum message size. Um, most organizations will use uh, between 10 and 20 megabytes. Notice this is 10 megabytes, it'll go up to 20 megabytes. Um, because we are on an ex inter internal exchange server, um, no username and password is necessary. Um, if you need to have a username and password, you would either type in a username with the password twice or username at domain.com password twice. And hit apply. To configure LDAP, we go to LDAP. Add new. Give it a name. And to the server, uh, Exchange or, or Active Directory. Here's your choose Exchange, um, Active Directory, um, Novell. Um, we're going to go with Exchange for this one. Then for the Search directory root dc equals um, dc equals um, the domain, so it happens to be southern on this one, comma dc equals local, which is the um, suffix uh, dot local. Then our login credentials system. So you see we have the full domain, southern.local, and then the password for that account. Normally it's an administrative account. And we we'll choose apply. To do a quick test, you can choose user mappings, and then type in a person's name. 
so we have my name now so it's actively talking to the server and pulling back the information in which we want to see from here we're going to go ahead and choose services um, here we can go to email choose our defaults um, one thing I like to do I personally like to customize a little bit so by default it says subject is scanned from Xerox multifunction device and I'll say scan from and the organization Southern Solutions and then please open attached document it was scanned using a Xerox multifunction device I'll just take that back and just say please open the attached document uh, here I will say um, the file type I'll turn this off and this off uh, and of course signature for more information and please contact us at ssnd.com and choose apply when going down to workflow scanning we're going to want to set our um, file repository up if they want to do scan to network. So we'll choose add new, friendly name, scans, uh, change the FTP to SMB. Again, we can use the host name. Um, for this one, I'm going to use just an IP address. I happen to know my share folder is called scans. And then I'm going to use a login name for the machine to authenticate to that server to uh, write the files to that folder. And notice I do not need the at southern.local for this. That's only used really for the LDAP. can also make any edits to the default template that we want to do. Um, we can change auto color. It's right now auto detect. For scanning, that's great. Uh, printing, not so much. Um, but auto detect, we can change our DPI here if I wanted to from 300 DPI, which I find to be very good for most um, uses. But I can sit here and change all the stuff here. Auto suppression, no suppression. Um, lightning darken options, DPI. We'll scan up to 300 DPI. you hit apply. Um, now that we set up our um, repository, um, we can check our scan templates. Um, so what we have here is I've already made some templates, um, but to create a new one, we can go ahead and hit create new template. We'll call this one demo. And here, so if you have the share folder, on the server called scans like we do. Um, the next folder down would be your users. Um, so when I when you put in here for document path add optional, I can sit here and go demo and have to create a folder called demo under scans so that every time that they choose demo from the screen it goes into the demo folder. Choose that. So you'll see here, now it says Michael. Um, uh, if you really want to see any more, you can just hit edit, and it'll show you that it goes into the folder called Michael as well. <clears throat> if we do not have an LDAP option, uh, maybe it is a small business, we can go ahead and just go to the address book, choose add new name, friendly name, Michael, email address is Michael. And we can say save a new, save and new, or save and close. Save a new will actually save it and give us the next person to type in. And I'll say save and close this time so you can see the difference. So now you can see we have two people on our public address book.
There's also an entry screen default option. Um, unless the machine is copy only, or they're going to do very few things other than copy, I like to change this um, to services home. What this does is when the paper is put into the document feeder, it senses the papers there and automatically will start whatever application here uh, that you want to go to. So copy or scanning or email. But I like to go, I like to stay at service home. That way they have the full option of all the of all the features on the screen. Um, so they're not they don't feel like they're just using copying or have to hit the service home button to get back if they want to do an email or scan. Let me choose apply. It's always good practice to do um, date and time. So we can set our date and time, make sure that it is proper. And this one is currently is. Sometimes our Smart eSolution setup isn't working properly or we want to turn it off. Uh, under Smart eSolution setup, we can enroll or not enroll, as well as test communications, so to make sure that it is working properly. And for the most part, that is a quick overview of, of what exactly, um, how to set up a machine um, to get it done and taken care of. Uh, thank you very much.